there's a lot of different ways to set up a side mount regulator. Everybody has their own ideas, but this is my ideas on, on how uh, how well uh, it, it lays and as, is, uh, keeps from snagging and things like that. So I use a seven foot hose because I believe that everybody should have some way to uh, share air, especially for diving in mixed teams and things like that. So I prefer to maintain the same configuration all the time. I use a, uh, I prefer the, the uh, uh, Scuba Pro Mark 25 first stage because of the fifth port on the bottom. The dive right, uh, the dive right uh, regulator first stage is also have a fifth port at the bottom and then a rotating turret so it really lends well to the side mount configuration. Being able to adapt hoses for different, different angles and things like that. Obviously a DIN connection is much better. So what I have here is I've chosen an angle between this, the handle, and the post. So that makes a 90. The, the hose itself is, uh, is right between the two. So it's a 45 degree angle between these two. And that allows the, um, the high pressure hose to end up right on my shoulder right here. All I'd have to do is pick it up, look at it, and it goes right back. The long hose I end up wrapping around the cylinder and I've run it down the cylinder and then back up and I do it right exactly in line with the actual valve handle. Now this is a mirrored valve meaning that it's a it's a manifold valve that's had the isolator removed and plugged and the other cylinder, my right hand cylinder, will be the opposite. So I lay it down, energize it first. If you energize the hose first it takes its natural shape when it's energized and now it's easier to deal with as far as tucking the hoses into the bungees. And again, I'm staying in line with the, the valve handle and I'm going to run it straight down, right down and back up the tank. The reason I use the seven foot hose on the left side is because I prefer to use a right handed regulator, meaning the hose comes out of the right side of the second stage. And it's this nice small regulator. But it's a right hand regulator, so I'm trying to take a regulator that's on the left side and bring it over to my right side. And the seven foot hose allows for that. It allows it to go under my arm, around my neck, just like this, and right into my mouth. This hangs on a necklace. It's on a, um, it's on a Highland uh, Manta necklace. It's a thick rubber bungee, or thick rubber molded necklace and that allows it to be deployed very easily. It won't get hung up like a lot of standard bungee cord um, uh, necklaces will. Uh, it, it deploys easily, bow the head, and hand off the regulator. Once the other diver's established gas and he's breathing, you pull the rest of it out and you start going out single file. So there's, there's no reason that you can't share air in side mount configuration. Um, even through restrictions, it still works. And for travel, for walking around with the tanks, I just put a second loop in there just to secure it so that the hose won't grab on bushes or if you're hanging it over the side of a boat or something like that, the regulator won't get entangled and caught on things. The, high, the uh, inflator hose comes out of the bottom port and that actually curls up. Again, once it's in the right position, it curls up, stays between me and my uh, tank and goes right into my inflator. My inflator sits right on my chest right here. So it's no-handed. I can hit it with my right hand or my left hand. It's right in the center. It's also above the chest, meaning that it won't grab in um, restrictions, low spots and things like that. So that's the left tank. right-hand tank, again, a mirrored valve, it's just a plugged valve. I prefer to have my valve handles up. The way I configure my harness, I have easy access to it like for valve shutdowns or feathering the valve in a free-flowing regulator scenario, things like that. Once again, I'm going to choose the 45-degree angle between the post and the handle with the high-pressure hose. On the right-handed regulator, Here. 
On the right-handed regulator, I've taken uh, a 30-inch hose and I run it out of the bottom fifth port. If you're running a dry suit, then you can put run it out of the side uh, with a short hose to the to the dry suit inflator. But for uh, wetsuit diving, I prefer to have this regulator hose coming out of the bottom of the fifth port, actually going behind me. That keeps it. Once I energize it, again keeps the the uh, high pressure hose on my shoulder. I pick it up and look at it, and it goes right back. This regulator hose is clipped up on a high D-ring up on my shoulder harness and when I'm not using it, it tucks between my, my body and myself. Alright, between my body and my tank rather. Okay, keep the regulator down. Um, this will keep it uh, from free flowing uh, on a scooter. Uh, you can just adjust the angle so it doesn't free flow while you're scootering. Um, and it also makes it easy access. Having it on the, um, the outside D-ring uh, and on my harness I have a um, it's actually a rebreather uh, D-ring that comes out from underneath of the uh, counter lung and I prefer those because it keeps separation between the two regulators. So you'll see that in the water none of this will snag because it's tucked between your body and your tank. When you need it, unclip it. You can actually do the switch one-handed, put it in your mouth and you just take out as much as you need right here. The rest of it is tucked away and kept out of the, out of the way. And that's how I run my second, my right hand tank. For, for carrying, I just tuck the hose in, just like that. That's it.